Hello and welcome back to Galactic Care with Alua Games, a little space hospital base building game. And we are past the tutorial now, the first level, and we're going on to level two. I I really like this game. It's uh It's pretty good. Good to see you back, Director. We're about to arrive at the Burning Moon Festival. It's operated by an old fellow, Leonard Moon, a notorious eccentric and reportedly rather neurotic in the not-so-good sense. Besides an awful amount of noise, chemicals, rampant fornication, and various other sapient indulgences, I can't even begin to imagine what more we might encounter. You know, once upon a time, Ms. Orion was nearly decapitated at one of these things. Total madhouse. So, we've got... A hospital near a concert? The Burning Moon. So, Pat's Patties? Is there a restaurant there too? Nice. So, a concert focused on the Burning Moon with some hamburger restaurants in the background and a hospital. Guess just in case the crowd falls off the asteroids. Because I don't see any rails around there. Nope. Director, welcome to the show. I am pleased to report that our acoustic barriers are fully engaged and we are thus safe from any potential cerebral hemorrhaging. The dull thump, thump, thump you can hear is coming from the Burning Moon Festival. Name there it from, is. Well, I suppose you can look out the window. Wow, it's so bright. Uh, Heel, why are they setting the moon on fire? Maybe it's just one of life's many thrilling mysteries. Get them up. So we've got a drive through there. Is for the duration of the festival, which so is that means the main entrance acts. will be here. I'll pop that information up on the objectives window. And but shuttle entrance back here. Moon, the festival's owner, as the revelries develop. Wow, man, that's a turnout. I'm going to give a big wet hug to all the planets and people in the galaxy. If you don't set something on fire, I am going to kick you out. All right, love you. Bye. Yes, that be must him. be the Wonderful concert chap, boss. A clever and handsome fellow by all accounts. Never met him myself. Okay. Wow, hey, um, so things are already popping off down here, and some kind of metal situation has happened, but not in a good way. We kind of want to get this cleared up before people start getting sp All right, I just want to get to building some rooms, and I want to start with diagnosis, and I want to put them... Is that gonna... Oh, that's too big. So, yeah. You know, I should learn to build from the wall out. I just three by four is spacious and we just put a door let's put a door over here on this side and we've got the desk here they can walk into and they can see their diagnosis you know what? Let's put the diagnosis out here so the customer can see it. Nice and pretty. And we're going to let's just get some posters in there. Make people feel comfortable. I like a variety. Hmm. It's not wanting to build my poster. Let's confirm the room. And let's get some objects in here. Oh, 
I want to put some seating outside and here's the art. Maybe I can finally get this going the way I want to. And now that's ordinary. We like the rugs, but let's put the purple plants in this time. There. And there. That'll take care of the Let's not worry about the curious. All right. Now that I've got that set up the way I want, I want to copy that room and put one next door. Does That's where I want it. It does not place the seating back outside, which I wanted right here. Now we need, we got room over here for rooms. We can probably put more diagnostics there. But we're definitely going to need check-in. Let's put check-in. I'm going to put it right here. Does that look? Yeah. And... Put a trash can. I want to put a trash can right there. And Some flowers next to those. Now for the next room, we're definitely going to need their skin labs. Three more tiles to make it spacious. Well, that is a big room. Put the door right here. And we have two machines to put in here. So I'm going to put one here and one here. Confirm that. And then we just go over here and add some art to this one. I'm going to put the picture of a planet right there. And some landscape. And I don't know. Let's call that Country Road. Oh, it's Wistful Irony. Hmm. I do see the names now. Lone Blots and Orientation. 
All right. Now for plants. Actually, let's see. I think I can get away with putting a curious decoration in here. And some plants. Customers love their plants. And the customer's always right. Okay. Let's just go with that. I know it has no doctor. I am just building up some rooms to get started. And now that we have two diagnoses, a skin lab, I believe we need that boning center. And we'll just put that here. Nice and spacious. Put the door all the way over here. And put that big machine right there in the middle. We'll confirm that. And get some objects. Can I... I wonder if it'll let me. Yeah, it will. We're just going to put some flowers right here. And right there. And then I don't think we have room for anything too grand. We can put some roots there. And we probably need art. Oh, there's rugs too. Put a rug right here in front of the door. Mm, probably right. That's where I like the rug. Mm -hmm. And compositing eight thousand. Customer can see it there. And one more. Okay. We'll get some seating right here. And right here. And we'll just see if a bathroom will fit in here. No. So far, everything's looking good. I am going to put a bathroom there. And... I need those vending machines, will they? No. No. Then we'll put one there. And the other one here. And we probably need to put some art on the walls. Just making the hospital look so good. And we have those curious people. I don't think we've done that one yet. Can we fit that in here? No. Okay, can we fit the roots? No. I just don't want anything over there. 
Okay. In that case, I'm going to put it right here next to the bathroom. And... Start the clock. The festival is dangerous or something. So yeah, uh, oh, 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 but I believe you can, please. Thanks so much. It does look rather gnarly down there, Director. Though, now that I think of it, Ms. Orion has been working on a rather illuminating new piece of technology. Yeah. Put him in the skin lab. Diagnosis? Let's see. Let's put her in diagnosis. And then Jimmy Johnson can work in diagnosis. And we'll put Centrifuge Buddy 31 in the Bony Lab. And then we'll build another room. Okay, this side's smaller, so let's go with that. The call remains, Director. If the, the room is spacious, great. Quite capturing you. Please continue today, and I'll take that as a hint that I should cancel your attendance to the brutally in-depth laser conference of 2283. I didn't even catch what he said. We need a. F Actually, I want to see. Yeah, there's the couch. Couch there. Lava there. Extra chair. I think I need to move the lava. That did not work the way I wanted it to. Not copy. Move. Oh. Okay, let's confirm. And then let's uh, go to objects. And move. Okay. Delete. Must edit a room. Edit room. Got it. We have more space over here. And that will allow me to put in another couch. And I don't think another chair will fit in here. No. But that's good.
no curious objects so we just get some plants that'll fit there And some nice art. There's an orange kind of room. So, Dererium at night for some nice relaxation. And we're off. We gotta talk to the boss. Laser surgery. Scalpels weren't cutting it, so to speak. So, we switched over to high-intensity mining lasers to handle some of the crustier conditions people come a down A new with. room. As it turns out, having laser surgery devices blasting away at your skin made people anxious. So I also took the initiative to make it a kind of immersive musical experience. Kind of like dressing up an MRI machine as a pirate ship. I'm not sure how Mizorion managed to turn lasers into a healthcare solution, but here we are. Let's build some so that we can treat our incoming patients. Room is spacious. We are ready to open up at your command, Director. Confirm. And we just need what looks like lasers. Get some hearts in here. Right. Oh, brain. Yes. Brains. And a little meta poster. Some flowers. And something curious and that should satiate them now we need a doctor 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 so that's diagnosis and that's laser surgery you're hired Patients are wait, Director. Are we ready? Excellent. I'll let Mr. Moon know that we're operating and ready to receive patients from the festival. Oh, hey, you guys are open now. Apparently, that's that's good, actually, because people were, like, dying. No, down here. My security guards are going to try and get them up to you, but a lot of them are very heavy from having metal all over their face, so we'll get them to you when we can. Thanks. Metal? All right, here comes our first customer. Our first patients are arriving now, Director. Should they have access to a reception desk and a diagnosis room, they may begin their adventure of not prematurely dropping dead. They're not going to die. I wonder if Baz will come over here. He's a traveling salesman. Uh, space dragon hippo I don't know what's going hey um so we got all the people who got a case of liquid metal rounded up and they've been like aggressively shoved into your shells uh, so they're on their way now please fix them uh, we need their post festival reviews for our socials thanks 
Okay. So we got some metal heads coming. Are they coming from the shuttle? Director! <coughs> Coated with liquid metal have just arrived. Our first patients are beginning to arrive, and some of them are species we've not yet encountered. Alright, we'll just pause it right here. And quickly just prioritize them. Yeah. All right. Mr. Ryan's uploaded a couple of dossiers for us to get acquainted with. It's the boss. The Dye and I are a plant-based species. They're often loners, vagrants, artists, explorers. And okay, so we got a new species. Yeah, uh, by a living planet. It won't talk to them. It won't give them purpose. Well, they we just have seeding out of the plants without a reason for their existence. Despite their solitary nature, other species really, really like being around them. Pheromones or something, who knows? Right now, I'm looking at the doors for the queue numbers. We got three, one, one. Nobody is overloaded. And when they get the red number, oh, we got. Yes, boss. Kuba Bali. These hearty sauroids are patient, precise, and durable. They rarely need a break, and it takes low their congestion, and spacious rooms. We have spacious rooms. To fill up. So oh, say, I can't speak to low congestion. Order, and live in discreet tribes, all with their own rituals, which have been brought into a cultural structure known as concatenated ordering. The exact details of how that all works aren't entirely understood, but it seems to work for them, so. More power to him. You know, come to think about it. I don't think there's a number to tell me. How many's in the queue for these guys? Yeah, no, nobody in the queue. Good. That's why we got the double desk. I think there needs to be as many receptionists as there are diagnosticians. But... I like to start off with two and then just see if the door numbers see we're already up to five on each of those that's wow you guys are just lasering the metal off our crowd but the numbers that's will so turn cool. red I'm on the doors sure if I, care if they die. I guess we hired the right people huh? and there's something wrong with him he doesn't like the art or she Yep, there's a bug. That is free money. And there's a bug. And that's a craftles. Well decorated rooms, collecting them will grow your craftium. Okay, I'm not sure what my craftium is, but we're going to grow it a little with smash books. I believe all of the shuttle people have been diagnosed. What is the treatment for Metalhead? Hey, give me a hand here. Yeah. Alright, so they've been diagnosed. Laser surgery. Oh, so they're all over here. Okay. We haven't really checked out laser surgery yet. The animations on it don't look too bad, I don't think. And we are over two and a half stars. On our rating, that's good. That's where the doctor stands. Maybe I should have turned this around and faced the door. Half of those guys are better now, which is great. Also, they were in the cheap seats, so if you kind of want to take a break, I'm sure That's it'll be good. fine.
Is he not done? I think he's done. He's going home. Yes, yes. A lot of people do not like the art. Well, we can put a poster here and we can put a poster over here. Maybe here? Okay. Why? Bravo You're... on handling that emergency. It's in the bag. Uh, Mr. Moon is apparently occupied by his exhausting labors, but he's provided a pre recorded message. Yes. For it. I'll play it now. In the event that you guys do a great job. Hey, wow, great job. Thanks for doing uh, whatever it is you did. Uh, I'm sure it'll be great for the festival. Thanks, here's money. Um, goodbye. Okay, so this is the one that makes more money. Sorry to interrupt, Director. Just a reminder to claim your rewards. Yep. And now that we've claimed our rewards, we go into inventory. Now... We're receiving another call from our client. There's an issue with a singer, apparently. Right. Artifacts, consumables, upgrades. And here's where we can... Whoa. What is that? I guess I'll put it over here. for some reason and he told me to let you know that Leonard Moon is calling bye bye wow hey it's me again um so one of our headline acts Twiggy Pop or something is sick like big time she's already finished her set so it's not the worst thing if she dies I guess it wouldn't be great for our media coverage though so please keep her alive for like Two hours or so. Thanks. Yes. What a delightful fellow. Uh, director, when it comes to VIP treatments, the faster we treat the patient concerned, the better our rewards will be. It's probably worth pulling out all the stops to make sure Twiggy gets the best and fastest treatment possible. noise in the galaxy. Mary, you have no idea who this person is. Welcome to the station, ma'am. A machine, huh? Well, nice to meet you, mate. So, looks like I ran into Festicrosis bacteria at the festival, and it's eaten off about half my face. Any chance you could fix this? Of course. We'll get your ailment seen to as quickly as we can. Assuming we have seats, you're welcome to sit in one of them. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks. Why does everything smell of chlorine? So, you found out what's wrong with her? Some kind of flesh-eating bacteria? Okay, 
Great. Keep that to yourselves, please. I know nothing about it, and this conversation never happened. What is up with this tractor in the middle of the... It's slowly moving around. Is it supposed to drop it off all these bugs? It's a bug carrier. Or a glitch. But we copied the room. The Russians are roaming the halls, Director. Put some seating in. And... I'm gonna make this a little... Vending machine area. Hey, thanks for keeping me alive and everything. The music scene is a mess of dodgy contracts and corporate control. And I'd rather do something more meaningful with my life. Seems like you guys know what you're doing, and I used to be a doctor. So I want to join up. I've sent your machine Free doctor? Resume. Maybe? It's Baz again. We'll take free, because it's free. And he's only selling. I'm not interested in. Maybe I could pick that up. Ah, an opportunity to learn about consultants. <laughs> I'm surprised we picked one up so quickly. Ready for you whenever. Okay. Hey director, I'm Twiggy Pop. I started life as a doctor, working in the core regions. Tough gig, but it's made me pretty good at the job. Also, people really like my singing. Not sure why, but it makes anyone nearby better at their work. More focused. Anyway, that's me. Thanks for taking me on, director. It's nice to get back to doing something I actually care about. Welcome to the team, Dr. Pop. Oh, thanks little guy. All right, I'll go get changed. Any chance of a cappuccino? I don't think that exists, but I'll try. Director, we've acquired our first consultant. They're permanent additions to your team, traveling with us from hospital to hospital. Let's open the consultant window to bring Dr. Pop in now. Well, we probably need some more rooms. I don't see any new rooms. We got. He's up to five. We have two skin labs, a boning lab, laser lab, oh, and receptions. We have nobody in the queue. Everybody's keeping up with everything. And we got a yellow dot over here. Yes, yes, I know. Okay. They get over the art slowly. Whoa, and that guy moved over there. What does he have? Aroma Borealis. And they are filling up the trash. Star Warts.
You know, I was waiting on some money to bank up. And I think we got enough. And this is a smaller space. Yep, that's what I thought. It's space invasion. Everybody likes some food and drink as soon as they come in, right? Chips and some caramel way. And composition eight thousand. That is laser surgery by the hologram doctor. There's a regular doctor has stepped out. Now come on, this room has lots of decorations. She is a metal head. And these flying girls playing and do anything to her. And there's the goo. Another metal head. Oh, he's back. <coughs> Let's get some repair and cash. What is that? I think that'll do. All right, and. I want this. Okay, I want it here. The skin tag room. Right here between the flowers. That should make us a little extra money. Moves, needs. Moderate weight. Been waiting a while. Well, she's not waiting anymore. Uh oh, what's wrong with this guy? His health is low, and he still needs it. And, uh, Just stabilize him. That one's got four people. Six, six is a lot. Do we need another skin pad? Skin lab? I guess we may. Uh 
going chamber. I'm sorry. He's a diagnosed. Now, we can copy the skin lab room. Yep. Nope, just gonna drop it in right here. on this side. Skin doctor, we'll go with you. And some seating for the folks out front. Come on. This is our consultant roster, which will allow us to bring consultants into the hospital. Let's bring okay. Dr. Pop into the hospital now. We will get the consultant in the bone room. Since we need a new bone room. Where to put the bone room? If I put it here, it will fit just fine. Confirm. Now, we get consultant. Mm -hmm. And there she is. Hi, Director. Glad I can get down to work. Uh, Medi, how's that coffee looking? I'm sorry, Twiggy, but he says coffee is illegal. And that we'd all die. I said nothing of the sort. Director, consultants are quite different from our other staff members. Let's inspect Dr. Pop to find out more. Alright, we're supposed to inspect the doctor. Oh, 
We have to bypass trap. Got you. Yeah, we'll wear. I got some more of those. All right. There's nothing out front of this one. So if we just add, maybe a bathroom. I'm thinking bathroom. We got vending machines nearby. Oh, there's a bathroom right over there. And let's put it way down here. And seating. Can I fit the seating? Yes. And of course, we got to have the classic. Actually. Can I put a window in over here? Well, uh, do you know? I think... Well, we just don't have enough posters up lately. There we go. Dr. Park, like all consultants, is a remarkably effective clinician who can expertly operate any of our rooms. As consultants and experience, they gain powerful, unique abilities. And sometimes we need to make hard choices as to which ones they acquire. You can see the perks Twiggy has in her skill tree. And that's everything you need to know about that. Let's get cracking, shall we? Hey, um, I got a message from Twiggy that everything went okay with her treatment, which sounds good. And also that she's quit the music business, so I have seven executives here who are using circular breathing to shriek non-stop like a ghoul. Ask her um, not to do that, maybe. Thanks. So we got Twiggy Pop to quit singing and come join our hospital. Where you go, us? Dr. Pop is calling about a psychotic break amongst the festival goers, which, judging by the director, it seems people are falling prey to some kind of psychosis. A fear of space flight or something? Psychosis? They're on their way, and they're just constantly screaming inside the ambulance. Ah, a psychological condition. Ms. Orion's been preparing for this eventuality. She'll be in touch with the details. Do we need a. A new room, perhaps. Where's the boss? The Dreamarium. So we arranged a trade the with a planet ruled by psychic clans. In exchange for an unknown quantity of an unknown substance, they've lent us their services as therapists. Basically, with a doctor as an intermediary. These creatures can dive into the depths of our patients' minds, rearrange their neural networks, and slurp out any lingering negative emotion. No issue so far. And the treatments have proven incredibly effective in testing. Sure would be nice to remember what our contract with the clams was, though. Sounds like it might do the trick. Once we've got some of those rooms set up, I'll dive right in. Could be kind of creepy. The Dreamarian is set up. We need... Some patients with the aforementioned space phobia have arrived. Oh, <laughs> wait, uh, how about space front? Seems mm. like you guys enjoy a good pun around here. Well, <laughs> I just think that's wonderful. Space fright. Uh, spectacular work, Miss Pop. Thanks, Heel. Oh, yes. No, not at all. Space fright. Hey guys, uh, so some randos decided to weld rocket boosters to some asteroids and I couldn't stop them and now a space rock is headed straight towards your station. Uh, sorry and good luck with all that stuff. We got Dreamarium art and flowers. And I'm just putting in some extras. Looks like we can put that there. And of course, we're going to need to recruit somebody. So let's get some recruitment. Doctor, 
It looks like the festival is the only place to find rock and roll. <laughs> yes, wonderful. Uh, we've taken on significant damage from the impact. Okay, get rid of the... Uh... Nope, he's still parked over here. Director, you could consider crafting some more medibots. You sorely need it. Crafting mini bots. Okay. Now we got those guys working. And we got rid of our orange dots. The only room we got left is training. Yes. Or is that a training room? That's a training room. We have laxites in the hospital, Director. I'm not sure what laxites are. But, the staff is en route. He only has three people waiting on him. We need more diagnosis. Yep, there's where we need a new room at. Yep, just gonna put it right there. Confirm. And... Got to hire somebody. You use a clam to suck out their bad vibes? Wow, I wasted so much money on therapy. Um, I hope it's legal. I'm not a narc, mostly. But yeah, cover your ass. This keeps going. We need another area. Probably could have made that a little shorter to give us more room, but... You're not a bug. We have 138,000. We could afford that. Or that. It looks much bigger. Yeah. That is bigger. We're going to activate it. In case we need to move on over here. We just keep an eye on the doors. And somebody's not diagnosing. One over here. One over here. Okay, so the diagnoses are all split up. Bone graph looks good. We got two. This is one. Three. One. One. And nobody comes over here for training? It seems like the psychic clam stuff's going pretty okay. 
You know, I was married to someone who thrived on absorbing negative energy. Uh, well, that's that cool. Wrong. That was supposed to be a burn. Never mind. We haven't seen this one work. Whoa. It does two at a time. Whoa. Okay. He zaps their heads and spits out the bad energy? Or is that their dream? Are you the duck? You're the duck. Oh, so you're going into her brain with the brain's help. The brain monster. And he left. Are you a dog? Yep. I'm going to hire another doctor. Yep. I'm going to hire another doctor and put him in the training area. So I just want a cheap old. Yeah. What am I looking at here? Reception. There's five in the queue. Everything looks great. And I totally missed Baz. Hey, sorry about the ex-wife thing. I've actually never been in a relationship and I don't know why I lied to you about it. Uh, can I come up there? There's stuff I'd like your mollusk to make not happen in my brain anymore. That's gone excellently, Director. The Dreamarium is working a charm, and none of the patients seem to have any permanent loss of function. The room is now approved for long-term use. Another job well done. We're blazing along. You're more patient than I am, Director. I want to claim my rewards post haste. We got a new blueprint. It looks like we picked up a cleanliness beacon. It projects an energy field which dissolves problematic waste, trash, and so on. Testing did suggest that tooth enamel isn't necessarily safe either, so I'll keep an eye on our complaints box. Director, Ms. Ryan is calling in. Something about the wonders of Craftium. She's, uh, quite excited. Hmm. Ms. Orion is still on the line for you, Director. Oh, I'm sorry, boss. Radium. It's a wonder <coughs> that does exactly what it says on the tin. And I should know. I named it Craftium. <laughs> I like to think that one was a stroke of brilliance. You can use it to recreate practically anything you've seen. Even rare craft tech, like that cleanliness beacon you just acquired. Open up your inventory and let's have a browse of what we can make. First, select the crafting mode to begin the process. Now, craft anything you like. One brand spanking new, uh, well, I can't see what you've made, but I'm sure it's great. Craftium, so cool. Now, I've got one more thing for you.
Ms. Orion is ready to brief you on the research lab, Director. One of my favorites when I last taught R&D. I'm a... The research lab. It's got a big old supercomputer. Your doctors can use it to improve our craft tech blueprints. All right, we are going to get a research lab. Into any of the conditions we've encountered. We're trying we used to, to hook this their consciousness directly to the computer, but it occasionally created a nightmare portal which trapped their so minds I'm in a digital hellscape for eternity. So we here. don't do that anymore. All right, that's enough sapient interaction for one day. Catch you later, Director. And Let's give here? that new research lab a spin, Director. Place one down, and we'll see if we can't suss it out. And here. Okay. So the research lab, of course, is going to go in the new area. Now it's spacious. And we just put a door here. And we put them there. Place more hypercomputers. Is that what that is? Really? You want... Add three unique decorations and add a room. Hyper lockers, cabinets, lights, those are advert towers. I see no hypercomputers. That's the same logo that's next to the hypercomputer. Let's confirm that. The Touch Lab is capable of two distinct functions generating insight into conditions and upgrading our craft tech blueprints. Let's upgrade one now. Select the research lab, and in the research interface, select a blueprint to upgrade. They want us to get straight to upgrading. Well, we're going to add some brain posters. Get us in the mood. And of course we need plants. Something to stare at. Hmm. And we're just going to put him there. And him there. It says select a blueprint. Can we get the money maker? 
Let's if research that. Our doctors will begin to develop the improved version. This new and improved blueprint will dramatically reduce the crafting cost. But unfortunately, it's attuned specifically to the station we're currently on. You'll need to complete the research again in each new hospital. The research lab can also boost our research efforts into any condition of your choosing. This will generate some research directly. It also generates insight into conditions. Insight greatly increases the research generated for that condition whenever you have it stockpiled. Shockingly, it's Leonard Moon again, calling about another ailing musician. Our client is calling about a new musician problem he's having. All right, what's oh wrong God. with the musicians? There's another whole musician who is now dying for no reason except to make this whole festival a waking nightmare. Can you fix him, please? His name is Clem Bansig, and he's a coital tyrannosaurus, which, which probably has something to do with all this, but I don't judge, and neither should you or anybody. If I want to slop around with roadies until my flaps catch fire, that's up to me and the creator. Clem, I mean, if, um, if Clem wants to do those things. Look, just get him back to us, okay? There's too much on the line for it all to be taken down by Bansig's love for the fizzy pump. I'll give you lots of money and goodbye. He'll give us lots of money. Money, 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 money. Money. Alright. So that person's probably coming up via the shuttle. I don't think they're here yet. Heal! That VIP just arrived! He's shaking like an aging pirate. Oh, yes, sir. I, Clem Bansig, am badly diseased from my many fallacious adventures. Actually, sir, it seems like you might have just had too many energy drinks. Oh, uh, uh I didn't think you'd actually know. Please, uh, don't, don't, don't tell anybody. Naturally. Yes, patient confidentiality is vital in our line of work. got diagnosed? An addiction to energy drink? Huh. I don't know why I thought it was something venereal. Branding, probably. Honestly, I don't even know if Coopers have anything down there. They could be like mushrooms or something. No, nope, just the energy drink problem. I'm gonna put that right there. And we're getting smarter. Does anybody use this room? Oh, 
Okay, so... That's better. Okay, yeah, research doesn't have a count. It's kind of like the break room. One and four, and three for the dream. I think we are good on rooms. I feel way better now. You're welcome. Back to uh, romping again, which I do all the time, just so you know. Good for you, sir. Best of luck. Glenn dancing. Glenn dancing. That's awesome. Well, I think we're doing good. No work available. Wow, hey, that was pretty fast. Thanks. I can put these pills back in the cabinet and get back to having jazzy times at the festival. Yeah, we're playing that guys. I got to tell you, I had a handful of two cans of toxin energy squirreled away in uh, somewhere. Uh, I figured I'd donate them to you. Consider them they're so tasty. And You're welcome. And they get your mind going. And you start to vibrate and, uh, oh, I miss it already. Hey, can we just turn this shuttle around? All right, so he's like general education. Our new pal Leonard Moon is shrieking down the phone about lights or some such business. All right. He doesn't have a specialty. Um, skin lab. Confirm. He does now. Hey, are you medical guys any good at the cyber? Because we have issues with the cyber. And if you don't do something, I'm going to have a panic attack. Mr. Moon, I'm, I'm not entirely sure that our contract He needs an IT it department? It. I put it in there. Holograms are just as important as the musicians to me, man. They're people. It's in the contract. You have to believe me. Please. Director, holograms can't be covered because they don't actually exist. That said, it, it's probably worth doing this so that our client doesn't cork it before it can pay us. So, that means we'll be performing health care on the lights, using our trusty canisters, of course. What we'll need to do is take the canisters, cart them over to laser surgery, and shoot them with the lasers until they're so full of lasers that we can do health care on the lights. So, we need canisters? There they are. The canisters are ready to be thoroughly laced. Yeah, I see them. Just give it a little bit of a pause and then we just give them top priority. And now we unpause. And they're good. With them being good. Looks like we need a new laser surgery place. Well, we just copy this room. Put it right there. Oh my god, the lights okay. are so out. Oh no, I think I'm dying. Not like this. No. No. As hmm. I'm, I'm sure he's fine, Director. I'm glad he's fine. The doctor 
lasers are done putting all the lasers in those canister guys. That they are, robot. Our treatment canisters are ready to be delivered down to the festival. I've been talking to them a bit, and they seem kind of weird, but nice. You've been talking to them. I'm fairly sure that nobody's home. Please help me. Yeah, we've been sharing data. Being a motorized tube seems hard on people. How long will they be gone? Well, uh, the energies involved will totally atomize on delivery, so, you know, a while. Oh. Yes, yes, yeah, terrible. Uh, wave goodbye to your friends, Maddie. All right. So the shuttle is off. They're going. And away they go. What a thrill. Oh good, you're still here. Uh, do I seem any younger? I'm in a new body and I feel gorgeous. Anyway, we see your canisters coming and they're full of lasers. Yeah, great. Good luck. And somehow, Leonard Moon has returned. What a thrilling twist. The moon... has... developed more patterns. Is it gonna blow up? That doesn't look too good. Wow, that worked. You've officially saved my ass. It's the swelling. holograms are back on and everyone is vibing and stuff. Thanks. You're welcome. Solo flowers. And they will give us a variety of gifts especially each species will award you with a unique powerful artifact I spend it all in one place I know how you Terrans can get with money sorry I I don't know why I said that uh, I'm going through a bad divorce and my dog has me by the plague and uh, I'm sorry I'm not I'm not normally racist it's the stress sorry good I'm just looking at door numbers now. Leonard Moon is having old problems by the sound of it, and not just personally. Oh, hey! Hi, um, so you ever have one of those days where it feels like an evil spirit is trying to harass you into a psychotic break? Anyway, um, all four members of the band, the Exolodes, are about to die soon from burns they decide to get as a prank, I guess. And if you can't heal them, uh, please just eat them or whatever you people like to do. I'm like totally done with this. Thanks. Wow. He's really mad at him. Okay, I was going to put this over here. I kind of forgot about it. So, yeah, we're just going to put that right there. And... Here they are. Director, the Exelodes are now stepping off the shuttle. We'll be able to experience the full richness of Ode. Okay, so there's four of them. And they kind of look like Power Rangers. How exciting. Wow! This is amazing! Cool spot, man! I am dying big time! Yeah, it's all uh, don't die. Is he like, don't what's his health? Man, and what's his health? No Everybody's health looks good. Whoa, that's a harsh and unhealthy number three. Alright, yep, they're all good. I'm health. So what do they have? Whoa. Look at that power of fluids on the floor. Slightly singed. Right now. Hmm. Burns. They burn themselves. And I don't know why you people are complaining about
I guess the cleaning robot can't see that trash. Bug hunt is over. And we have three hundred thousand dollars. So do we need some more no? Diagnosis is well this diagnose rooms. Why is that one so high? These are so low. Hmm. Oh, is it cause I'm charging right in here? I'm not charging right there. Did the research finish? Yes. So we need to activate another one. And maybe get the stabilizing solution. You're out of sign. Oh, it's full. Okay. Now. So I'm just getting rid of these yellow dots. Okay. Oh, we got octopus tentacle plants. That's a nice change. Hey, it's great I'm still alive. I feel good, like physically. You guys have stuff of being in a dark spiral of anxiety and so. You're welcome. Yeah. I'll let you get my brain or something. Afraid not. Good day, sir. Oh. Okay, that's yeah, that's fine. Yeah, fine. Oh man, you got them all fixed already? Okay, that's actually yep. really great because I was starting to wonder if I should just nuke the festival and like flee to the outer rim. Hey, thank you. This has um really made my day. Man, I feel so good. I might even try and raise my arms above my head again. Thanks, help people. This has been really pretty okay. You're entirely welcome, my elderly friend. I look forward to hearing your performance. Wow. Really? Take it on my credit. Good luck to you, Mr. Clyde. Way to go, oh, Hugh. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, thank you. This has really made my day. Well. I know they don't like me. Noshers are roaming the halls, Director. What are noshers? Is it this bug? Nope. Leonard Moon is in a tears over a situation with his headlining musician. No! No! The final act, the headliner, the colossal musician, they got a disease that melted their skin off. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Oh my god. I think well, you're next I'm to dying. like a I feel moon like I'm being about to blow. You've got to fix this, please. Hello, Galacticare. Well, hello there. I don't believe we've been introduced. Gazria, for the purposes of this event, Baz has a lot to say about you. Seems to think you might be capable of great things. Sorry for the inconvenience of my affliction, but I wanted to see if you're all he's made you out to be. 
It's quite funny to screw around with Leonard Moon, and I figured that having his headliner get half-consumed would give his heart a real kick. Oh, this does hurt rather a lot more than I thought it would, though. Having your skin rapidly eaten away isn't my idea of an interesting night. Any chance of a hand? Well, I, uh, I certainly didn't see why not. Well, this has turned out to be rather interesting. Word gets around, eh? As before, we'll need to dispatch a shuttle to take a tissue sample, and from there, figure out the best way to treat Gazria's rotting flesh. Dispatch one when you're ready. A successful launch. Good job, Director. The sample has been collected, and the ambulance... ambulance is on its way back. Let's get it over to Diagnosis. They're already on their way. Oh, we have so much money. I think... So, we just got done analyzing the sample and the damage is pretty gnarly. She's been devoured by the same bacteria I was. Mm. Treatment canisters are deploying now. And the third one. If we can run them through skin lab and laser surgery, we should be able to patch her up. Yes. Uh, uh, pardon? The treatment canisters. The colossal. Laser so we just fill oh, up yeah. these canisters, uh, uh, and sorry, then we can fix. A new fusion train design was just released. Uh, rather distracting. What? Nothing at all. Uh, good luck in that, and so on. Fix her up. That is a big one to fix. All right. All the canisters are. Waiting on a skin room. Yep. Only got three customers though. That's good. He's holding down the fort for the hospital. Yep. Looks like it's a one at a time. I can craft stuff. I don't want to craft those. I don't want to craft that. And that. And that. And that. And that. How many of those can I craft? Alright. Let's see how many we got. We have six now. Well, let's make some money. Did we put one in here? No. Okay. Did we put one in here? No. Okay. Did we put one in here? I have no idea what that one's dreaming, but it's dirty. That is a dirty mind. Look at all that. Just such a dirty mind. has an upgrade. Already has an upgrade. So we just put it right here. And go.
go across the way. Put it right there. Last one. What about the new diagnosis room? Let's just the canisters right there. have been processed and are ready to have a crack at Gazria's dreadful meat situation. Spectacular! Let's get them shipped off. The shuttle is primed and ready for your launch order, Director. Bye bye. And here we are. I think Baz might have been right. Where's our Honestly, shuttle? I haven't felt better since before this moon was crop born. dusting. Shame what they're doing to it. Still, I can get close to them and go shuttle go. Their minds. Look so at that skin all here. fixed up. That looks good. Here's some good eggs, galactic hair. Take care of yourselves and watch out for the debris. Go have fun at your concert. Be the headline act before that moon blows up. Looks like we're all done. Let's check in with Gazria. Oh, oh, is it over? Oh, that was perfect. I guess I never had anything to worry about. Thanks for all the health care you did, and here's a shipload of credits. I gotta go prep for the big finale. Totals. Oh, yeah. So, we've completed this level. And if you've made this far, you like it. Do like and subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And well, the biggest damn hole in this burning moon since the festival began. Get ready to ring in the end times with all the other delinquents out there. Because it's fun. Because it's wild. And just because we can. Behold. And the moon blows up. Well, that's, uh, that's quite something. I'm sure everyone's fine, Director. I, uh, I suppose I'll update Galactica's chart of the system to, uh, remove the moon. Well, that's all you're up for, Director. I and the other staff can take care of the after party for you if you'd rather head off. Our next contract awaits whenever you'd like to get us out of here. Well done, by the way. That went rather well, I thought. Okay. Your choice, Director. We can stick around here. On to the next level. The glory of our See you next time. Bye bye. Hospital, or we can move on to our next job.